Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. And today tutorial I want to show you a couple very interesting tools and how we can make more from our view application. And we're all familiar with kind of poser tool, but the one problem with the poser it's a little bit too expensive. If you look on a new one, it's come with $450 just or somewhere around that for the pro version. So the other tool what I found, and I'm sure most of you already use this. If you're not, I highly recommend to download it. It's totally free and it's as powerful as Poser. And I'm sure very soon it probably will be even better. And I will provide the link on our website for this tool. And it's called Does Studio. So, and um, it's come from the Does 3D. It's free, available, download it. And also the best part is content pack with more models, settings and everything is as well available for free. And I will provide those links on our website so you can just go click and check this. And also we are doing a lot of tutorials now. We will cover this Dust Studio by your request so you can know how you can do a lot of lot of rigging animation, um, a lot of stuff. And how I say this is a free tool, it's the best part for this. Okay, so here we have our um, DAS when we open. A couple of things I want to show you. And if you first time, we'll have a tutorials for the beginners, but very fast overlook on this environment. So here where we have a camera, we can preset, but this is, will be tools to rotate and modify our um, viewpoint for the camera. Okay, and the top tools right here, it will be uh, modifying on our objects. So this is a very basic preset. What I want to show you it is you can go and have a free models from the DAS downloading. Okay. And export is very easy to the view. Instead use it like poser PZ file. You can go ahead, load it even like full scenery. Like uh, let's select this one. Okay, and you can see how many objects here. So we can zoom in and out, and it's Victoria as a fairy tale. And here is a full preset. And you know what? The one nice thing, so if you're done here, you can go after in, and we can actually export and save all of this and import back in a view and modify environment there. To do this, we'll just go File. And click export. Okay, so I have it right here. And I did before one export, so let's do um, we click a forest. And do you have several options on uh, Biovision, Collider? I recommend to use it OBG Waveform. So we'll click save. Here is a couple options that you will need to change and the kind of recommendation. By default, your units will set to the price. So just to be the same, you can save to your, uh, what you're familiar with, a Maya, whatever, but I like to save to the poser. But again, it's up to you what units you like to do. Um, check the weld figures. If you want, after modify, maybe by parts, you can uncheck it. But in that case, for the size of memory, I recommend to check it. Advanced here is more important. By default, you will see right here, no maps. And also what happened, you won't have it any of those textures or anything. Be sure you checked on collect maps. Okay, and leave it just everything else um, as is. You can modify if you want it, but we want on this. And that's all we do. Just click accept and it start exporting. Okay, and of course before export, remember, this is just like poser. So you can click, you can modify these models. You can Go on one part and you can adjust as you want it. So modify in a way you want. This is a best part. It's very easy to navigate, very intuitive. So if you want, you can click to your tools and modify through your top ones. But again, when you're done, please set. Just click again what we did it, export it. And let's load. We'll go right now in the view and loading our scenery. OK, 
Okay, to do this, we go File, Import Object. And we'll just navigate to our place. Then we have this Forest OBG. The one nice thing, what it did was, it is saved actually all full scenery. Let's take a little time. Okay, it's finished loading all our objects. Oops. I don't want to rotate what I want to do. I want to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so we'll go to corner and just stretch a little bit. Let's drop on the ground. We'll take our camera and we'll just move inside this drum. And you see, you can notice on the screen, we have all these models, all textures already imported. At that point, we can just set our camera this way, find better looking position. Okay, and one thing because you can see we have this surrounding drum, you can actually remove it. We can go inside and select all these models and modify or remove it if we want it. Okay, or if you want, just leave it. Just go ahead and render this way. Of course, one thing what we need to modify at this point, our atmosphere. So we can go inside, we can preload it, some other atmospheres we have it. Remember we have this shadow because sun won't go over this. We can enable uh, transparency, but you know what? Let me go find. Just one of the so we don't have it hard shadows okay let's go to final render to screen 640 let's preview this image okay here we have it our final image and you can see it's look actually very good already and all what we did we just open does import exported and here I go we have it nice scenery the best parts all these models you see you can reuse they're all free same as that application, they can pre-pause, you can do animation, you can do other things with that application and it's totally free. And this is just overview of the tool and we'll have a lot of new tutorials coming about the studio so you will learn in perfection how to work with this tool and how to integrate with the hexagon with another modeling tool. So you have a full um, set of tools, low and expensive or free so you can use it with a view as well. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio and be sure to check those links I will post it there and please let us know if you need any specific tutorials or if you have your own tutorials, please send to us, let know and we'll be happy to post them um, and visit us on the web at www.geekatplay.com.